this video, I'm gonna talk about how I read the tape and use level two and time in sales for my trading. And to show that, I'm gonna do a trade recap of some trades that I took on GME yesterday, January 19th. This is gonna be a good video because I'm gonna talk about a handful of things. First, obviously reading the tape and how I use it for my specific strategy. Reading the tape can be very complex and confusing. The last thing that I'm trying to do is read each individual transaction. I'm really just trying to see where there is big size. If there is big size on the offer, since I'm more of a breakout trader, I try to go along the break. And if there is big size on the bid and I'm deciding that this looks like a good short, I wanna go short the break, but majority of the time I'm focusing to the long side. And the reason why I like to take the break is because let's say there is big size on the offer and that is a seller that is trying to get rid of their position or hold the stock down. If the buyers can overpower that seller and it can break and then stay above that level, a lot of times there can be more momentum. And then vice versa, if there is a big buyer on the bid trying to get out of their position or keep that stock from going lower, if the sellers can overpower that buyer and it can break and stay below that level, a lot of times there can be more follow through. And then I also like to use tape speed to exit position. So if I take that break at a spot where I think that it should go higher or lower, the moment that it breaks, if I just see a ton of orders come through the time and sales, which goes to show that I'm not the only one who is involved in that, and then the tape speed starts to go really fast and starts to print like crazy, I will usually get out of the position because I know trading options, the premiums have spiked and I like to get out on those spikes. Because when it comes to options, those pullbacks can really drain premiums. So I make sure that every time I get that spike, I just take it because there's really good money to be made on those pops. So that was reading the tape, but it also goes to show that every now and then I will deviate from my go-to list. This is the group of names that I'm watching every single day and I try to take trades on the ones that have the best looking daily charts and majority of the time I'm just trading Tesla. But if a stock is pretty active pre-market and looks really good on the daily chart, I have no problem adding it to the list of stocks to trade that day. Another good takeaway from this video is that if I'm in a trade and I'm trading a size that for some reason I just don't feel comfortable with, then I will quickly get out of the trade, lower my size, and then try to find another good setup. And then also this continues to prove to me that I don't have to trade big to put up a decent day. So this is gonna show me make an adjustment, trade a little smaller, but still put up a nice green day. The reason why I like this is because it has been on an insane short squeeze recently and the current market we're in, you never know how far these things can go. Everyone tries to short these because they're too extended and then it continues to make new highs and goes crazy. GME doesn't have to do anything, but just knowing the conditions of the current market and how crazy things can get, so keeping that in the back of my mind. And as you can see on the daily chart, very nice two-day move, probably squeezing a lot of people. And then on this third day, red day, I'm sure there were plenty of people that piled short thinking that this has to come lower. And it was gapping up this morning and it got above prior day's high, which was 4075. So if there is anybody short, they're not in a good spot. And if it gets above this prior pivot high, 4306, who knows how far it can go. So those were the levels that looked good to trade around. Prior day's high, 4075. That prior pivot, 4306 and pre-market high 4288. Okay, so the first trade is on GME, and as you can see, the first move is down. I much prefer when that first move is down because now it gives a high of day as reference, assuming it can get back above VWAP, and that's exactly what it did. Sold off a little bit off the open, finally found some support right around 40, above the nine EMA, got back above VWAP, that's a pretty aggressive candle right there, and now it looks like it's consolidating a little bit, and that high of day is 4174, also knowing that there is pre-market high above and that prior pivot on the daily above. So it has the technicals above that could possibly kickstart some momentum. It's starting to hold above VWAP, which is great. Now I just wanna see the tape start to speed up right around high a day. And as you can see in my order entry, I'm trading 500 shares. The reason why I chose shares instead of options is because right here, very small, the IV was 320%. And sometimes when the IV is that high, even if the stock has a nice move, the options won't move that well. Most of the time, I don't worry too much about it, but that was incredibly high, so I just felt like going shares was the better thing to do. And now I just wanna see this get to high a day. That was a nice candle, so I ended up getting long 500 shares, anticipating the high day break at 41.74. It definitely didn't go as quick as I wanted, but it's still above VWAP and it's still holding 41. And even though 500 shares is not a big amount, especially on a stock that's only $42, to be honest, I just did not feel that comfortable because GME was definitely very volatile this day and you never know. There's always that time and that chance where it can have an aggressive pullback. And the last thing that I wanted to do was be in that pullback with 500 shares. So I recognized this pretty early, still wanted to give it a chance because it looked good. But the moment that this just started to show some struggle, I knew that I was better off 
getting out of the trade and then coming back to it if it's set up again on smaller size. But clearly showing a little bit of struggle. So that's already a couple candles that just were not able to go above high a day. And I really wanted to see that go almost instantly. And also knowing that I'm in a share size that I just don't feel that comfortable with, I'm ready to just get out of this and then reset. Struggling a little bit, but still wanna give it a chance. High day is 41.94, just wanna see it get there and then what's it do? Some size at 42, got right through it. So chewed right through that offer. And then the thing that I did not like is it got right through that size and then came right back below it. And I don't like that because I'm trading momentum. I wanna see those levels break and then continue to hold above it and then start to speed up. So the moment that came back in, I just got out of the trade and only lost 11 bucks. And then here's where I take the second trade. And as you can see on my order entry, I changed the position size down to 250 because I feel more comfortable trading that size. Now it came back below 42, but obviously buyers have clearly taken back control. So I think I just got a little shook out. So I ended up going long right there, 250 shares, 42.69, anticipating the pre-market high break and that prior pivot high on the daily, 43.06. And as you can see, got right up to it right through 43, tape starting to speed up and it's now holding above 4306. So I wanna hold on to this and then try to see how far it can go. And being that I'm trading a little bit smaller, I'm okay with being a little bit more patient. And I also know that I am clearly in the money. My average is 4269, I'm over a dollar in the money now and we just broke that key technical level. So I wanna give this a chance. I still plan on taking quick profits, but as long as it's above that level, I want to try to see if it can go a little further. New high a day, buyers are clearly in control. If anybody was trying to short this, they're feeling some pain. Gets right through 44, so nice and in the money right now. So I just want to give this a chance to see how far it can go. In my mind, I'm thinking maybe right around 45, but if there's any sort of aggressive pullback, I'm just going to get out. But those are still nice green candles, so it makes me feel good about holding this a little longer than I normally do and also the position size makes me feel comfortable too. Still holding above 44, high day is 44.61. I just wanna see if this can break that high. Gets right up to high a day. Tape starting to speed up, a little bit of size at 44.60. Just wanna see that get taken out. Gets taken out right away, has a very quick momentum push. Now it's definitely very extended on the intraday. So the moment that I see this start to slow down, it's good for me to just get out of the trade and I got out right there for a very nice move. And on small share size, got almost two points. So got the $11 back and now green $473. And even though that may not be a crazy amount of money in the trading world, that's an unreal amount to make in a short period of time in the real world. So it just continues to prove to me that there is plenty of money to be made trading smaller. And this is the third trade that I took on GME and this is gonna be a really good tape example. So as you can see, pushed up to 45, pulled back to right around 43, held VWAP above the nine EMA, gets back to 45 and there is an unreal amount of size on the offer. And as you can see, there is a ton of orders going through, but it was not able to break. And it pulls back a little bit, which I like. So now this is gonna go up and test 45 for the third time. And if third time is a charm and this can break and those buyers take that seller out, I wanna be long the break and try to take it for a quick move. But if it gets back below 45, I wanna be out of the trade. So coming up to 45 still has a lot of size on the offer and you'll see the tape really start to speed up. So buyers are taking out that seller like crazy right there. Breaks the 45, instantly bids up like 30 cents. And now I just wanna see this stay above. Ideally, I was looking for right around a point, but it got a very quick move. And as you can see, 45.52 had some size there and that's kind of where it ended up struggling and stopping. But I wanted to give this a chance and now I'm in the money. So my fill, which was a really good fill, was at 45.01 and my stop is gonna be break even and it starts to pull in a bit and I end up just getting out of the trade. And then from here, this actually had a decent pullback. So it showed that it was not able to hold that 45 and the moment it came back below it, I don't wanna be a part of that pullback. There was a quick 50 cents that I could have taken profits on, but it just made a new high a day. So it felt like it had a chance to go higher. And being that I was not gonna let that go red, it was a free trade anyways, because I was already green on the day. This trade didn't work out as well, but I have seen plenty of times that when big offers like that get taken out and then the stock can hold above that level, they can really get going and sometimes go a lot further than anybody anticipates. So I'm glad that I gave it a chance and also managed risk well and got out when it came back to my entry. And I'm also happy that I got this recorded because that is a great example of how I try to use the tape, read the level two and time in sales for my trading strategy. And I'm glad that I wasn't stubborn and I got out because Citron released a hit piece on this and it had a very aggressive sell off after. So that's it. Those are the three trades that I took on GME and also a good reading the tape example. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.